Today, I'm going to be giving you the best keyboard and mouse settings that I've ever used, as well as some secret mouse optimizations that most pro players don't want you to know about that is guaranteed to improve your aim. These are the same settings I used in my most recent bronze to Unreal speedrun video, and these settings are perfect for anyone who's looking for the right balance between fast mechanics and consistent aim. I'll also show you some tweaks that you can use to optimize your PC for free, which will improve your in-game performance significantly. If you end up having any questions about the settings or the tweaks that I'm going to share in this video, just leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to help you out. And if this video ends up helping you in any way, then make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel as we're so close to 10k subs. And if you would like to support me even further, make sure to use code VINNING in the item shop. And with all that out of the way, let's get right into the video. Alright, so first, what you're going to want to do is download NVIDIA Profile Inspector by using the link in the description. Select Fortnite in the top left and scroll down until you find the Extras section. Then keep scrolling until you find this setting right here and change it to this exact same set of numbers. After that, keep scrolling until you find these two settings and copy this set of numbers for both of them. And just hit apply in the top right. Basically, all it does is lower your input delay without causing any decrease to the quality in game. Next, open NVIDIA control panel, go to manage 3D settings, click program settings, select Fortnite, and copy these settings. I want to keep this video as short as possible so that your time isn't wasted. So just hit pause a couple of times so you can copy the settings quickly. So after that, you can download Intel Extreme Tweaking Utility using the link in the description and turn on the automatic overclock. And since Fortnite is a CPU-intensive game, overclocking your CPU will improve performance pretty significantly, giving you higher FPS and lower input delay. However, manually overclocking it too much can cause some issues by either damaging the CPU or causing it to stop working completely, which is why I recommend only using the automatic option so that you can safely overclock your CPU without any problems. Next, download MSI Afterburner using the link in the description, and turn the power limit, temp limit, and fan speed to the max. And for the GPU and RAM overclock settings, these are going to vary per person depending on the specs of your PC. For reference, I have an RTX 4090 and 32GB of RAM, and I was able to set the core clock to 200 and memory clock to 1550 before I started to run into some problems with my PC. So to figure out what your limit is, simply increase both of them by 25 5, hit apply and check if you run into any problems. If everything seems fine, then just repeat this process until you reach your limit and just lower it by 50 and you should be good to go. Then just hit save and make sure the window icon in the top right is blue so that this program automatically opens in the background when you turn on your PC. Next go to Windows Search and run Windows PowerShell as an administrator. Once it's opened, copy and paste this command from the description and hit enter. Wait a few seconds for the program to open. When it does, head over to the Tweaks section and copy these settings. Under the Advanced Tweaks, make sure that the Remove All MS Store Apps option is unchecked. And if you use any Adobe or Razer products, then uncheck the first and last option under the Advanced Tweaks. Then just hit Run Tweaks and close the program. Finally, open your Control Panel, click Network and Internet, then Network and Sharing Center, then change Adapter Settings, and right-click on whichever one you're connected to and click Properties. From here, make sure only the first and fourth ones are checked and leave the rest of them unchecked as they are completely unnecessary. Then hit Configure and copy these settings under the Advanced section. Alright, now it's time for the secret mouse optimizations. Just go to Windows Search and run the Registry Editor as an administrator. Then copy and paste this file path from the description and copy these settings by double-clicking one of them in order to change the default values to the same ones that I have. Next, you should see two settings called Smooth Mouse X and Y Curve with a bunch of random numbers next to it. Most people will tell you to just disable mouse acceleration or enhance pointer precision, which you definitely should do. However, from my experience, simply deleting the smooth mouse curves allows me to be in total control of my mouse movements, allowing me to be more accurate in-game. I'm not saying that this will make you an aim god overnight, but if you put in the time to get better, then this will definitely help you improve a lot faster, since it's easier to control your mouse with just your raw input while having nothing manipulating your mouse movements in the background.
All right, now here's my in-game settings, and we'll start with the display section. So for window mode, I have mine set to windowed full screen. I know that normal full screen gives better performance in game, but I just find windowed full screen to be more convenient. For resolution, I have it set to native, V-Sync turned off, and frame rate limit set to 240. For rendering mode, there's a new performance mode option called Legacy Performance, and whether you should use this or not is going to depend on your PC. From what I've heard, the new Legacy option is better for AMD users, and for NVIDIA users, the normal performance mode is better. And since I have an NVIDIA graphics card, I tested both options myself and found that the normal performance mode works better for me. For brightness, I have it set to 150, colorblind mode turned off, and 3D resolution set to 99. Most people say this doesn't do anything and that it's just placebo, but I just keep it set to 99. And for everything else, I have them all set to low or turned off. For NVIDIA Reflex, if you use the low latency mode in the NVIDIA control panel, then you should keep this turned off. For sound settings, the only thing that really matters is that all this is turned on. Everything else is just personal preference. Next, I have Toggle Sprint and Auto Open Doors turned on, and I have both of these set to hold jump. Down here, I have both Disable Pre-Edits and Edit on Release turned on. Under Extra Game Options, make sure both of these are turned off, especially NVIDIA Highlights. Just use the NVIDIA app if you want to clip stuff in-game. And under Replays and Energy Saving, I just have them all turned off. For my HUD scale, I have mine set to 63. And here's my God sensitivity that y'all keep asking me for, as well as my keybinds and joystick settings for anyone who's interested.